Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome. Firstly, let me apologise for not getting this video out on Sunday, but I've been spending some quality family time. I've also been asked to do a commentary on what I'm doing in the video, so here goes. Now, let's crack on where we left off. Here, I'm just sanding the top of the cockpit, ready for test fitting. That looks like a good fit. Now time to paint the wood effect in the cockpit. I'm using my own colour. It's three parts Vallejo mahogany to one part flat white. I've added my flow aid, my paint retarder and my thinners uh, to make it more like a glaze so the lighter brown can show through slightly. Here I'm using a Mr. Dissolve Putty, love this stuff. This is going to be used to fill the gaps and level out the seam lines. I've also sped this up a little so it gets through it. That's now done, so let's pop that to one side and crack on with painting the instrument panel. I'm going to be using Revel Gold, as at this scale, it looks more like brass. The seat belts I've already painted and it's just a matter of sticking them to the relevant part and making sure that they're the right way up. Now it's time for some PE photo etch. So, let me just try and pick up this piece of PE. Nope, let's just move it. I'm using a bit of glass here for cutting my PE. The reason is the glass is hard and there's no chance of any give so the PE won't bend. I'm starting off with the guns. One thing I have noticed doing this is the fact that the autofocus won't focus on my hands, just the background. So I've vested in some playing card which hopefully We'll stop this, so we'll see in the next episode.
Here's the guns. As you can see, the top one, the barrel has a bit of droop. I noticed this later and adjusted it. I missed a bit of video here. I forgot to turn on my recorder. It didn't play three blind mice. You have to be a certain age to get that one. Carrying swiftly along, I've added the top fuselage stretch here already. I think this is the only thing I missed. Here, I'm cutting out the PE cross braces for the upper supports. Right, let me just move my PE picker upper pencil. Now, I have to make sure I have this brace the right way round. Hmm, that looks okay. Hmm, how shall I pick this bit of PE up? With my fingers? Ah, I know, I'll use my PE picker up at all. That's a lot easier. There we go, that's the right way round. Remember folks, check, check and triple check. I'm sure that's going to come back and haunt me. See, even the PE picker up a tool doesn't always work. Now for the other side. Time for more PE. Time to cut out the connectors for the rigging on the top ribs of the fuselage. How small are they? I'm betting I lose one of those. Time to bend those bad boys into shape. Let's see how this goes.
that went well. Now the headrest. This was an absolute swine. It took me 20 minutes to line up. Now for a little bit of cleaning up. As you can see I'm using my homemade files. If you want to see how to make them, just check out the tutorial guides. Here's another bit where I didn't start my recorder. Don't worry, I've already used that joke. What I'm doing is I'm gluing the top of the fuselage section on. I've had to clamp it into position first. Next, the tail and rudder section. As you can see, this was a bit fiddly. But, I finally got it there. Here, I had to drill a hole in the cowling under the radiator. I know, I need to start to do my work under the camera, a real bad habit I have to break. Now to re-drill the holes for the rigging in the undercarriage legs. Here I'm using Mr Hobby Dissolve Putty to fill the gaps in the upper fuselage part we added earlier. The guns have been given a coat of black primer and then all I did was give them a quick rub down with this graphite pencil. I got a set from the works for a couple of my shiny liney pounds. Not a bad finish at all, even if I say so myself. Now for a clean up of the Mr Dissolve putty. I'm using acrylic thinners here on a cotton bud just to get the excess off. Now we come to the scary bit. Remember those really small parts? Well, let's see if we can get them fitted now. As I've put an angle on them, I decided to use tweezers instead of my PE picker up at all. And twang! Oh, that was lucky. This bit is the PE support for the exhaust, which I forgot to record. Again. Here's a good old bit of proper engineering using a metal file. There is something really satisfying about doing this. 
Probably a throwback to my MEX course in the Air Force. Now adding the step that goes on the top of the exhaust. Next is bending the PE spent ammo chute. This needed a little fettling to get it to fit into the recess properly. But I managed it. This I found very satisfying. This piece had a high spot and needed to be filed evenly. Pretty chuffed with this as you can see the primer come away nice and evenly. Back to the plastic, test fitting the lower wings. That fit looks good, let's glue them into place using my own extra thin quick drying glue. Check out my tutorials on how to make it. I'm having to re-glue the exhaust to its mounting bracket here as it came away. I decided to super glue the undercarriage legs on here. Uh, I personally felt it needed to have a little bit more strength than usual. I glued them so that they were square. I know they should have an angle on them, but I couldn't get that right, so I decided to let the wheel axle do the job for me once I'd done the rigging. Now, on with the rigging. This is my first attempt at it. I found it quite frustrating as I couldn't hold it there long enough for the super glue to go off. So I ordered some superglue accelerator, which helped a great deal. I had been told that a bicarbonate of soda and water mix would help, but that just left a horrid white residue on the model. Here I'm using my side snips to cut the elastic flush. I'm using 0.4mm elastic thread. I find this is so good and a lot cheaper than the model rigging thread out there. There you go, my first attempt at rigging. I'm happy with that. Just using Mr. Dissolve Putty to fill the holes. I'm gluing one side of the axle on now. I'll let that side dry and then glue the other side on 
and hopefully, fingers crossed, that will give me the correct angle for the undercarriage. While that's drying, let's crack on with the prop. Here I'm measuring about 10mm up from the centre of the hub where I'll be masking it off and ready for the wood effect I'm trying for the first time. I'm using watercolour pencils here. I got this set for three shiny liney pounds from the works. I start off with doing a dark brown, just doing stripes to try to emulate the lamination of the wooden propellers. I use different colour browns as well as a yellow, hopefully trying to get that lamination. It looks okay, but there's too much yellow I think, and I could do better for the future. And a quick coat of clear yellow. To end this episode, that undercarriage. Let's get the other side glued and see how that angle looks. So that's how it looks, but does it work? Tune into the next episode to find out. Thank you very much for watching. I'm the Budget Muddler. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Get the message out there to as many modellers as possible about my budget items. Like the video, ring my bell, and remember, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>